hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for the support that you have been giving me for all those who are new here i'm gamu and here we talk about a lot of things we talk about things that can help us go overseas things that can help us go to uk united states canada and um, many other countries that are actually giving um greener pastures for those that are new today please guys do like and subscribe to this youtube channel so that we can still continue communicating coming up with new ideas and new suggestions for us to be able to go overseas yes remember our motto is as we are going and we are not stopping we'll find ways whether there are barriers coming on our way we will still find ways to go through them but please don't forget to like and subscribe so that this youtube channel will actually continue showing new new things and new ideas from everyone if you have a suggestion if you have a comment please do do send a comment there write your information so that we can share with everyone on this uh, channel we are here to just help each other we are here to share information as much as we can Guys, today we are going to talk about two main things. We are going to talk about the tricks on how to apply directly. Remember, we said now because we are in the red list, we need to start knowing how to apply on our own. No one is going to do that for you. Yes, there are some other people that can help you apply, but then you need to know what's going on. So the first thing that you need to know are the tricks on how to apply. And then we will also tell you, I will also tell you about the NHS Trust that are um, employing from red list countries. So we have two things that we are going to talk about today, the tricks on how to apply. And number two, we are going to talk about the list of NHS Trust that are issuing out employment to red list countries. So guys, be with me as we go through this. So let's start. So guys, what you have to do is to go on your Google search. There are four websites that you need to concentrate on when it comes to these things. Four good websites. So I'll put them there so that you can follow up with me. Please get your pens and paper so that you can write down. If you won't be having uh, data to download or, or to you don't have time, please just jot down. So number one, we have track.jobs. Track.jobs. If you, you go on your Google search, type track.jobs like that then number two the second website that you look into is indeed.com number three there is health jobs uk number four there is health education england so guys these are four websites i trust them myself i trust them i've seen a lot of people going with them and uh, actually they are easy to use and you know you'll find a lot of jobs so we have four remember we said track.jobs indeed.com health jobs uk and england and health education england these four ones you need to have them in your brains keep them they will help you in the future that's number one that's trick number one so number two if you get into track.jobs or you get into indeed.com guys i know internet is very tricky you can get confused along the way I know you get confused. I know a lot of people will start seeing uh, other YouTube videos and all the stuff or they see new things that they were not searching for. But please concentrate on yourself. Know what you want. So you get into Tractor Jobs. If you are not signed in, sign in. Fill up your details. And when they ask you, do you want us to be sending new emails to your email? sending you emails for new notifications or new jobs say yes so that you can be able to receive um, new jobs and uh, uh, new information to your email are we together guys that's number one track jobs out there i know you will see a lot of information there but please use the right filters what do i mean about the right filters if they if you know you are not a band seven, if you know you are not a band seven, please don't apply for band seven jobs. I would know your band, know your filters. Are we together? That's number one. Apply for what you know you can get. Don't get lost along the way. 
that's number two number three guys you should check for deadlines you should check for deadlines guys that's number three that's the most important thing when you're applying on your own for deadlines guys check for dates that are closing soon check for applications that are closing soon check for vacancies that are closing soon why am i saying that the reason that they are still open it's because they haven't found the right person so if you go through and you check oh this uh vacancy it's closing three days from now why are they still open it shows that they haven't found the right person there is a possibility they haven't found the right person that's why it's still open so apply for those ones that are about to close then number two check for those that are just opened check for those that just opened why because if you apply when they just open they might find you you are the right person and then they close their their applications so there's a chance of them picking up the first people so those are the two things that you need to concentrate on when it comes to deadlines remember that's number three our point number three then our point number four guys concentrate on warnings when you're applying please concentrate on warnings why am i saying warnings you will find that uh they will state that they do not want an international person who's outside uk but you still go ahead and apply they don't want you from your they don't they don't want you while you're in africa they want you while you're in the uk and then you go ahead and apply for that one Definitely you, are, you won't find a job and then you will feel frustrated. So concentrate on the warnings, guys. Concentrate on the warnings. Are we together? Number five, guys, your job description, the job description, the position, your personal specifications, your CV should meet their requirements, guys. You'll find out that maybe on the CV, they want someone who did oncology. Ne? And you didn't do oncology. Sometimes I don't think it's necessary to apply for those. But for some, uh, for some times, you can actually do a trick like this. They have asked for someone who did oncology. You can say, ah, I, I helped my, my father. I took care of my father who was... Uh, who was on his deathbed on his last days while he was sick of cancer and i took care of him that's cons uh, oncology management you understand so you can use that but make sure that you 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 pinpoint their requirements and target your cv apply or write your cv according to their requirements don't get lost along the way because i know a lot of people who just uh, uh, go on track to jobs and then they see a lot of applications they start applying my dear they start applying no we don't do that guys we are smart you the reason why i'm saying this is because you get frustrated and i don't want you to get frustrated so you apply look at the at the requirements look at the description the job descriptions and then what they want tailor your cv to be on that Tailor your CV to suit their job requirements, isn't it? That's good. So let's go to the next one. Uh, let's, after applying, that's number six. After applying, guys, after you're done with the applications you have applied, sent. One thing that you need to do, scroll down at the end of the application, there is a line manager's contact details. There is a ward manager's contact details. Guys, those details are important. They are not there for nothing. After you apply, you are given a reference number. Send the, use the email of your line manager or your ward manager or your, your department manager. Send here that reference number. Send here your details so that you this can so that this can speed up the process of you finding a job so if you just apply you throw your cvs and you don't follow up this can limit the chances of you getting some replies so after you apply at the end and end, 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 i'll put it down there just like this 
there you can see at the end there is the contact the name of the um the contact of the line manager the word manager there's the contact or the email address and the phone number and her name please make use of that please make use of that take your email apply to her send her your reference number after you have applied send her your details so that it can speed up your chances of getting employment are we together good then number seven guys guys after applying please please don't stop bothering people talk to people guys that's what i do talk to people guys don't feel like i'm bothering them you know there are moments when you continue talking to people you still ah oh, guys i'm still in zimbabwe oh, guys i'm still in in zambia how is uk oh guys how is uh, how's america guys you know and then sometimes they take time to respond and then you feel like you are bothering them no those guys are very busy they are very very busy keep keep them notified that you are still in africa and you, are, you don't want to stay here not notify them just like the way google will notify you notify them talk to them but why am i saying keep talking to them don't don't uh feel like you're bothering them it's because sometimes there might be a vacancy or a department which is open and it needs a person they can actually say oh you're still in zimbabwe or oh, you're still in zambia or oh, you're still in kenya no 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 it's okay uh i just heard there's a vacancy which is open at this department let me send you the contact details and then they send you the contact details then you apply and then you continue so guys please continue talking to people who have don't feel desperate number eight don't feel desperate guys don't feel desperate at all why am i saying don't feel desperate is because i know a lot of people will leave their jobs just because they just written ielts or OET. Just because they've written OET or NHS has just replied them uh, for them to do their OSCE. Guys, no. No. Don't feel desperate. Don't leave your jobs. Don't go for an offer that you don't want. Go for a perfect offer for yourself. So guys, these are the list of uh, NHS trusts that are still taking from the red list country. <laughs>